Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Crack with Poppin' It's D about to react to this Armand Wiggins video. It's titled Meg the Stallion Sues Milagro Grams. Oop, she is suing her for running her mouth. I do know that this chick Milagro was the one who was pro Tory during that whole case. I do remember this name. And I feel like she's been mentioned in videos sprinkled here and there. And I feel like she does not like Megan. So I think she has been slandering this woman's name. And Megan is over it. Megan is coming for her get back. Speaking of Megan, I reacted to her album recently on my Patreon. Link down below. Check it out if you are interested. Uh, but yeah, let, let's see how she's suing her. Let's watch. All right, what's poppin', everybody? It's your boy Armand. And we're back with another video. Get in here. Get in here. It's time to get into some things, okay? Now, you guys remember when Megan Thee Stallion dropped Act 2 and she was whacking um, somebody by saying, you know, they just get online and talk about her every day and they broke and this, that, and the third, and they need to get going live from their from they bum-ass place and yeah, that stuff. And I felt like it was up towards Milagro Grams and I reached out to her. <laughs> they honestly said... That, I, he probably didn't intend for that to sound shady, but that sounds shady as hell to me. She was talking about somebody who was a bum and always talk about her and got a dirty ass place. I was like, oh, that's Milagro. <laughs> what? It could be towards Nikki too, but it's for up for interpretation. Nikki, well, with a dirty place. The dust is settled and the smoke that is clear. And you guys remember back in early, early this summer that when um, that DE, I don't know, when, when the leak tape came out of uh, the AI tape came out of uh, Megan Thee Stallion the and Milagro Graham seemingly liked the tape uh, and, and sent people over to her Instagram, I mean, her Twitter likes for people to see it. Mm. Megan Thee Stallion made a statement and said, pretty much, this is the last time you're going to be playing with me. I'm getting ready to start suing the girls. Well, here we are three or four months later and the lawsuit has been pushed out. Um, Milagro Graham has Please been hold. served. She's officially... Um, being sued by Megan Thee Stallion, okay? I've tried to pull it up on my computer, but I just can't see that far, so right now we're just gonna read it on here. Okay, a jury trial has been demanded, okay? United States District Court of Southern District of Florida, okay, so this has been found in Florida too. Now, a lot of people are saying Megan lives in Florida, other people are saying that Florida has more strict laws on um, harassment and stalking, and so mm -hmm. they feel like people, um, they have a better chance of winning the civil in suit in Florida oh, versus um, smart. Texas or California or anywhere else. Because I'm like, well, Milagro's in Texas. I thought Megan lived in L.A., but I don't know. So anyway, um, Megan, plaintiff Megan P. <laughs> hereby files this action here and after I'm the complaint. I'm only thinking that because Megan is from Texas as well. So, you know, I would think she would have some type of home pride. Because, I mean, I feel like a lot of people have home pride. And they usually fuck with artists who are from their their home state from their city or whatever i'm not sure if she's from houston i think that's where meg is from uh because i'm like that i i love california artists i'm always trying to support them so very interesting and against malagra elizabeth cooper miss okay. pete alleges the following facts upon her own knowledge and upon information and belief okay um for years the defendant acted and continued to act on behalf of daystar peterson that's also cool. known Tory Lanez mm -hmm. as an online rumor mill churning out falsehoods about Miss Pete to her tens of thousands of social media followers. Mm. Since Miss Peterson's uh, 2020, Mr. Peterson's 2020 indictment for us with that weapon after Miss Pete to his later conviction in December 2022, the trial up through the day, up through today. Okay, defendant Cooper performed. Um, Mr. Peterson's public bidding to degenerate, belittle, insult, and spread false statements about Mrs. Pete mm. on her online social media platforms for no other reason than to bully, harass, and punish Miss Peter and punish Miss Pete for Tory Lanes. Okay, so basically they're saying she's been in a nutshell, she feels like Milagro Grams has been taunting, harassing her all for Tory Lanez and been dragging her ever since the conviction to punish her for Tory Lanez getting convicted, okay? Um, the lengths to which the defendant, Cooper, goes to harass uh, Megan 
knows no bounds. I'm just going to say Milagro and Megan, okay? Mm. For example, she has Pete, gone as Peter far as to share a deep fake close. video of, of Megan in June mm. of 2024. The That's defendant weird. Milagro encouraged her 27,000 followers to view an ex post by Bimbella. I guess that's the account. Shared a that Bimbella shared a doctor artificially created video of Megan Thee Stallion uh, purportedly engaging in acts without Megan's knowledge or consent. After the, after Milagro's conduct led to a firestorm of negative reactions from others, uh, Milagro doubled down in a YouTube video on June 9, 2024, claiming that Megan Thee Stallion was a professional victim and denying any wrongdoing. But the defendant is wrong. Her conduct was unlawful. Uh, was an unlawful promotion of an altered sexual depiction and caused Megan, and caused Megan Pete, emotional distress and reputable harm. Mm. Okay. In, a, in another instance, on September second, twenty twenty four, uh, Milagro Grams accused Megan Thee Stallion of having a severe drinking problem. Who needs to spend more time in a relationship with herself? And her therapist, and maybe AA, defendant has no personal sure. relationship with Megan and had no basis to make such outlandish and false statements. And yet another instance on July 30th, 2024, um, Milagro Grams went so far to cast doubt on Megan Thee Stallion's mental status, asking the followers if Megan Thee Stallion has a guardian or not. And whether Megan Thee Stallion has ever been deemed like legally retarded. What are <laughs> defendant low blows did not stop there. Defendant consistently resorted to name calling Miss P, characterizing her as an angry, angry black woman and a lion. <laughs> okay, um, during her live stream. Additionally, in or around June 29, defendant tried to pull information on Megan Thee Stallion's father. Okay. An attempt to publish. Yeah, she's doing too much. She's she needs to be sued. You're doing too damn much. There is a fine line between you know reporting on the gossip and giving your opinion and doing this harassing, bullying, weirdo shit where you're really trying to get involved in her personal life and and really try to damage her her reputation. Like this this seems very personal and it's weird as fuck. That trial has been over for years. That shit happened in 2020. We're about to be in 20 fucking 25, bro. Let it go. It's over. It's done. He lost and he's in jail. <laughs> Why are you so pressed about it? It sounds like she like know him personally or something. The fuck? Cause this, this seems a little too personal. This is weird. You cannot like her. Sure. There are a lot of bloggers and stuff who don't fuck with Megan. People on podcasts don't like her. A lot of people don't really fuck with Megan like that. Cool. Have your opinion. Whatever. But to continue to do all of this and you're liking the the, the fake uh, video of her, the fake corn video and telling your followers, oh, go look, it's in my likes. Like you're trying to promote that. Like that. this is a problem. This is definitely grounds to sue somebody. You're doing too fucking much. It's private I, information I about story. her family and caused damage to Megan Thee Stallion's reputation. Yeah, Megan Thee Stallion has reportedly tried to stop I defending um, for uh, mis uh, defending uh, Milagro's misconduct and asked what it would take to stop being posted on defendant's platform. In response, Megan oh, Thee Stallion provided. I mean, Milagro Rams provided the inside advice that Megan Pete should. No, the snide advice, oh, excuse me, that sorry. Megan Thee Stallion should just get over it or go away. Uh, Milagro Grams has made numerous false statements about Megan Thee Stallion um, regarding the Daystar Peterson case. Um, so there's just so much there. I'm not going to go through all of you guys can find the documents online. But in a nutshell, Megan Thee Stallion is tired of Milagro Grams. Now, a lot of people are feeling like, well... Why did she sue DJ Academics or anybody else? And that's a good question. No, it's not. That's a goofy ass question. Are y'all serious? There's no comparison. DJ Academics is not trying to find her goddamn daddy and sharing AI fucking corn videos and, and doing all this weird bullying shit. He's not doing all that. He's going to give his opinion. He's going to talk his shit, make a few videos here and there about it. But 
nobody really even talking about Megan like that as far as this case goes. That shit is done. It's nothing to even talk about. So a lot of people who are like reporting on shit, we were reporting on other shit and reacting to other shit. Nobody is talking about that like that. She's the one who's still hung up on that. So yes, this sounds like harassment at this point. DJ Academics is not doing that. There's no comparison. I personally feel that this is not a defamation case. I gotta stop slamming this uh, space bar because I've noticed that sometimes when I'm typing and I'm pressing, it don't be one to uh, it don't be one to uh, work. So I'm like, I think I'll be slamming it too hard, and it's it's uh, it's getting tired. <laughs> This is more of a harassment and bullying. And I think that by Milagro Graham's liking that deep fake video. Yes. What is a deep? I gotta figure out what a deep fake is. But by her liking yeah, that so video, I think that was what, what was gonna be able to anchor. And I saw the video. The lawsuit. Because I feel like they it were looking really for something. Real and too. when you're a celebrity, it's that really hard scary. to put out a lawsuit on someone because when you're a public figure, People have a right to have an opinion about you, right? That's not but just an opinion. when they're liking like revenge type stuff or fake videos and they're trying to and, find and her daddy those in such a way, then you weird. That's how they can anchor you. Although I do feel as though that this is an undertone of Tory Lanez and you know feeling like she has been a paid surrogate. They also said the, they also said in the lawsuit that Malaga Rams is a paid surrogate. What? Uh, Tory Lanez. I think that's interesting. She because, had his baby? Um, we did learn that Milagro Grams decided that she is going to be doing a countersuit. Okay, so she's in her Tasha K bag. What the um, fuck? And I think that she should. But at the same time, I'm like, why would they say you are a paid surrogate of Tory Lanez and the family? Maybe they don't mean the actual baby, but they just saying... If she hasn't baby. been paid, I think that she might have a little bit of a case there because that's defamation on her. And that's trying to diminish her credibility. So I think that that's they have tea. some wiggle room because for me, when I was reading over the court Why would they say that? They I was kind of feeling like, I, didn't, I don't really know how this stuff works. So I'm like, I don't know if I feel like this is really like a really deep case. Like, I, I don't know is. if Megan Thee Stallion will win like... Cardi B won over, you know, Tasha K. Tasha K. Because Tasha K. Blatantly put out lies. Uh, Tasha K. Had to literally Cardi B. Had to go take tests and all kind of stuff. And Tasha K. Admitted that she lied. A lot of stuff that Milagro Grams did, she didn't outright post these things herself. That is irrelevant. If you are perpetuating this bullshit and pushing it out to your large following and making it bigger, you're adding to the problem. You are at fault. I don't care if you didn't make the video yourself. You are promoting it. And, and it's a fake video. What are we talking about? You're, you're a fucking accomplice, <laughs> if anything. Like, you are participating in, in this act, in this you know, hate train towards her and this bullying and harassment. And especially if they got mo I'm sure they have collected hella evidence, probably hella tweets. She's probably tweeting about her all the goddamn time. Uh, all the, the liking the tweets, I'll go look at my tweets and or go look at the, my likes and that's the that's what her corn video had and trying to find her daddy. All of this combined looks wild as fuck. She looks like a stalker. She looks like she's harassing her. So if you look at the bigger picture, and this is everything he just named, he's saying there's more in the lawsuit. Too, so that I'm sure they got more, you know, uh, proof of her being a fucking weirdo. Like all of that combined sounds wild. Like, what are we talking about? But she would like post and send people there, you know, or That's she would insinuate bad. things or she would kind of rearrange the story to fit a kind of narrative that she wanted to That's prove that, problem. you know, Tory Lanez was innocent and Megan Thee Stallion was guilty. It was more so Milagro Grams was very much so like a heavy Tory Lane supporter and would angle her content and her delivery, even alter the facts to Tory Lane's defense. Okay, well that's just as bad. What are we talking about? So how is there no case? And how is she not at fault? What what? I'm gonna leave it there. Y'all go check out the rest of his video to hear his opinion on this. I think that Meg 1000 percent has a chance of winning. This is an issue. And he just said that she sometimes alter the facts to, to make Tori look good. How is this any different than what Tasha K was doing? I mean, sure, Tasha K may have been a bit more extreme, you know, with, with the way that she went about things. But it sounds like Milagro is obsessed. And she is just, 
you know, tarnishing Meg's name online. And you can't just get away with this type of shit. Again, there is a big difference between speaking on shit, having an opinion, you know, and going this far. This is too far. So there needs to be some type of legal action. These people think they're so untouchable. And oh, you, you a celebrity, so I can do what I want and say what I want. That's not how the fuck it works. You can't just harass people online and think shit is sweet. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Get her. I, I'm in support of it. I think she needs to go down because she's doing too much. That case was over years ago. Get over it. He lost. You're doing too much. Anyway, we'll see what happens with this whole situation and if Megan ends up winning. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.